Jodie Myers, the man and woman allegedly murdered by her partner in a shocking case of domestic violence, has finally been laid to rest. Around 200 mourners gathered for her funeral this afternoon, remembering a loving and devoted mother who was taken too soon. Family and close friends arrived for the service in Murray Bridge at 2 o'clock this afternoon. Among them, Jodie Myers' mother Lucy, her three sisters, her brother Sean and her four-year-old son. Inside the chapel, their pain was still all too clear. Jodie's mum, too upset to speak, asked her son-in-law to read a statement on her behalf. Words can't describe my loss, she said. I don't know how I can get through this grief. Rest in peace, my baby girl. I think it would be very hard for Lucy. I don't know if she'll ever go get over this. No one deserves to bury a child, especially one that's 20 years old. Members of the police force had accepted an invitation to attend, among them a detective who helped find Jodie's body and arrest her boyfriend, Neil Archer, for her alleged murder. Also among the mourners was one of Jodie's primary school teachers who flew from Port Lincoln to be here. She described Jodie as a cheeky and popular child who will be etched in her heart forever. The family says Jodie's son will always be reminded of his loving, caring mother. Now she's an angel, gone but not forgotten, and forever loved by all. Ben Avery, Nine News.